While Virginia weighs the possibility of building a new arena for the Washington Capitals and the Wizards, there's talk now of a different professional sports stadium on the campus of George Mason University. Neighbors and students are rallying, though, in opposition to a proposal to build a facility for Washington's newly formed professional cricket team. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is at George Mason with their concerns about what the university is calling a temporary stadium. How many sports complex controversies can Northern Virginians stomach at once? From Potomac Yard to the campus of George Mason University, where the West Campus is ripe for opportunity. And the proposal on the table right now would be a partnership with the newly formed Washington Freedom professional cricket team. The student body vice president just learned about this a few days ago. They're usually pretty proud of things that benefit students and really happy to advertise them. Um, so the fact that this is so under the table has been very suspicious to me and a lot of other students on campus. Neighbors are suspicious too. Mason says this could be an opportunity though to move its successful baseball team out of an aging field and share a 5,000 person stadium. Cricket, though, is played on a 360-degree grass field. Baseball mm, is not. And neighbors can't understand why the university is suggesting putting a diamond inside of a circular stadium. We're not against a baseball field. We, we would love a baseball field. We would lead the effort to get a baseball field. This is a cricket stadium with 10,000 fans that have no ties to the school and no ties to the state of Virginia even. Jeff Keller and his neighbors have sent hundreds of comments to the university asking for answers and an explanation of why things are moving so fast. The Washington Freedom wants to move quickly enough to host professional matches this year. Completely understandable why people are frustrated. Get that. And so what we're doing now is playing catch up in a process that normally would stretch on longer. It's more compressed. University spokesperson Paul Alvin says if the project moves forward, the university would keep ownership of the land, but the cricket team would build the temporary stadium, which would consist of no permanent structures. Nothing is decided there. Nothing has been signed. We are in conversation. We continue to be in conversation and we'll take as long as it takes to get the right decision. Neighbors hope that's the case, but they're not holding their breath. Right now, I think pause is the right answer. Do I think that will happen? I do not. Mason's baseball team averages a couple of hundred people per game, and professional cricket would only host a few matches per year, according to the university. But neighbors fear that a quick, massive change to the West Campus would change their community for years. Reporting in Fairfax, Drew Wilder, News 4.